What's up, Jaywalkers? We are going to be watching Season 1, Episode 3 of Torchwood. We are really digging the darkness behind this show. And the first two episodes, second one, I thought was a little bit better than the first. But like I said, we are really digging this show so far. Gwen, we got to see her first first look of her on the, on the Torchwood team. And it didn't go well at first. She was kind of making mistakes. She let out a horny gas. The horny gas was... Uh, that was a lot to watch and a lot to deal with, but... I feel like Gwen got better as as the episode went on. Uh, she was doing better. And her chemistry with Jack, I'm already digging it. They had a little kiss. Gwen was doing a lot of kissing that wasn't her boyfriend last episode. But um, with her boyfriend, I feel like, you know, that's kind of falling down like raindrops. Uh, it's just, it's, it's hard. It's going to be hard to make that last. I mean, the same thing with, like, Rose and Mickey. Um, I made that point in the last reaction that, you know, uh, once Rose got involved with the doctor, Mickey, just, it just that life, that type of lifestyle didn't compare, and I feel like that might be the same with Gwen and her boyfriend at the moment. We'll see. Uh, Jack Harkness is a motherfucking beast still, so it's always fun watching him. But we are excited to jump into episode three. The full reaction will be over on my Patreon page. Link to that will be in the description box of every single video over here on YouTube if you want to check the full uncut reactions out. Feel free to hit that link and do so. And with that being said, we're going to jump into it. Let's go. Owen, Gwen, left into the alley, right, 30 meters. What the hell are they running, what the hell are they chasing, or running from? No heroics, we've got no idea what we're dealing with. I feel like Gwen's about to be heroic. Or going to try to be. Gwen got some speed. I don't want her to make like another mistake, but you know, I'm really impressed with her dedication at the moment. Mm. Lost him. I swear, whatever it is, you're holding it. In the jacket? Oh damn. Wait a minute. Did this like what the hell is this thing doing to her? Hello? That's a demon child. If I've Hello. ever seen one. Well, she's gonna say some shit like, are you my mommy? That same thing. Same damn thing. I'm lost. Come back. No, you're not lost. Come We're back. lost. Gwen, are you alright? No, Jack, we've seen some shit. I've just seen a ghost. It was as real as this is, more real. I didn't just see that little boy. I more could, real. I could hear what he was thinking. I could... Little boy? You said there was a name on the card around his neck? Flanagan, Tom Erasmus Flanagan. Just for the record, you are Tom Erasmus Flanagan. My father was an Erasmus, his father before him. I was evacuated during the war, 1941. My mother packed me a suitcase. Big sister wrote my name on a card. It's the last I saw of them. Mm. Though I didn't know that then, of course. It felt like the end of the world. I wandered down this tunnel. Totally lost. Oh, and I got taken in by a lovely couple. No kids of their own. So I stayed here. I'm still here now. I don't get it. The beginning of that story, especially. But the whole story kind of ruined my whole day. I don't know. When I can live with all the secrets. She's out of the relationship. When I held it, it lit up and went mad. Not doing it now, is it? No. So Maybe she has to be alone. Like the fucking little boy. He's not setting a foot in this house till he pays me the 50 quid he owes me. He's bad. You'd kiss on him if he was on fire. Bernie Harris. Oh, this guy, he seems popular, well liked. <laughs> Oh damn. Here we go again. Are we all like seeing different, like lonely lost people? That's... That sounds creepy as hell. Would you like it that someone can see how smart you are? I'd like it if you would back off. Oh. What the hell? Oh my god. Like the fact that you had to see that. 
time it happens to is bad enough, but the fact that you have to see that and you can't do anything to stop it? If to be reopened, you need new evidence for a new witness. I saw it happen. No, you didn't. You weren't there. You saw. Can't take that to court. You need to know how to use these. I hope you never have to. Looking along your shoulder, down your arm. How can we concentrate? You are all over. It's all in the breathing. Might be concentrating on the wrong things. <laughs> like they, it's super close. Uh, oh, we can't focus. Like I said, I hope you never have to use them. I'll be using them here again because this is fun to watch. Doesn't it get lonely at night? Well, that's a hell of a question. Yeah, there's no way I'd get that out of my head either. Do we enjoy pain? Because that is all you're giving yourself by doing this! Back to the good times. When everything was simple! I'll wait to change the shirt. This man's 60. She wanted us all smart. That's the whole point. Do you work in all the hours? I really don't. Just as long as you still want to come home at the end of it all. I do. Come on. Want them to figure it out and just work through any problem they ever have in life. That's what I want. I'm not saying it'll happen. Owen's getting to the bottom of this shit. Release what? It's about to murder someone tonight. What do you want? Well, you did? How do you use it? What are you looking for? Sit down, Mr. Morgan. Answers. You're facing, you're facing your sins today. He loved dancing, do you remember? The last time you saw her. Last time anyone saw her. Mmm. Alive. You told her mother she'd be home at nine, didn't she? Please don't. She said, please. Please! You're a bad one, eh, Morgan? You thought you'd get away with this thing? You'll get nothing from me! I told you before, you'll get nothing from me! Another, like, very difficult scene to watch. Oh, here he is. What? We found him! Where's Gwen when you need her? We need the, the speedster here. Don't hurt me, please. I got asthma. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm gonna bloody kill you. <laughs> what is this? Motherfucker, well, tell us. That thing's not switching itself on. It makes you see things. We know Real things. We know her baby, wrapped up, dead. She hadn't told anyone, and she just ran away. And I realized. Oh shit! I knew her. Just walk off like a light. Oh, she's the one. The other half then. Other half, you say? Why is this just now coming up? I got it by clicking Lego together. That was pretty easy. Pretty damn simple. You can use it again. Why not? I'm gonna die. I've seen it happen. Wait, no! There. So you. That's too much. That is too much. Oh god. No! Oh shit! Why do we gotta see this? He's dead. Who? Wait a damn minute, what? Owen? You good? One future, one of many possible futures. <laughs> Whatever you saw. I like that future. Saw. What the hell are you trying to call? It's calling, oh my god. I know it sounds mad, but just because you saw yourself dead, yeah, doesn't mean it's gonna happen. Bernie was blackmailing him? Looks that way. Ed thought Owen was part of the same outfit. Are you home yet? No, I'm mm. Bernie's heading for Bernie's flat. Well, this is about to get hectic. We're on our way. Are you okay? Yeah, I would be. If someone would just... I mean, for now. He said he saw himself dead in that road. What? 
Mm. Yeah, this is all coming together. I knew you'd come for me. I've been waiting for years. All the same. You play me, make me the bad one. Edwin, put the knife down. I wasted my life for you. What? You'll never see me again, I promise. I know. That's why I'm Slowly I sneak up on him. I got the knife, Edwin. Okay. Hey. Oh my god. Good question, but. You got your in time. I knew you'd come for me. Oh! Oh. He wanted to die. He would have found a way no matter what. It's not meant for us. All these. It's not meant for anybody. All those ghosts. Surrounded by him. We can't see him. We can't touch him. But they're there, all right. A million shadows of human emotion. We've just got to learn to live with them. Hmm. What's happening? Good episode. Good episode. Good episode. Oh, oh, sorry. Just high fiving some freaking ghost because you know they're there. But there we have it, guys. Season one, episode three of Torchwood. Uh, I do feel like these episodes are continuing to get you know better and better, and this is probably um, probably the best one I would say so far. Uh, even with the like the many uncomfortable scenes in this episode, I feel like everything with the old man and. Uh, especially in the moment with with Owen where you know this device takes him uh, to that place where he's seeing these ghosts and he actually you know sees these events go down this event go down with the guy and the girl and uh, she told her mom she'd be home and he you know get is getting closer and closer and just won't stop and just it made for such an uncomfortable scene an uncomfortable moment then he ended up Killing her and ah, uh, ah, uh, so so terrible. Uh, and then Owen oh, confronting him, which you know we kind of did like to see. Um, put the the fear of God in him, as as Owen would say. But wasn't the first time he was confronted. As the other guy tried to like blackmail him. I don't know how his mind went there, but he wasn't he wasn't the best person. And then this, this future thing, we see bits and pieces of it. Um, where Gwen, you know, sees there's, you know, blood all over her hand. She's like, Owen had the knife. And we get to that moment, and the old guy kind of kind of throws himself into the knife. Uh, it takes its toll on Gwen. Um, and that's another just, like, hard scene. Like, a hard, like, thing to deal with, especially for Gwen being the one to have that knife. But, and kind of blaming herself and, and this and that. But... <laughs> Uh, yeah, some, some crazy shit for sure. Um, Owen, who I feel like was kind of the weaker character of the first two episodes. I feel like he really kind of shined in this episode uh, more so than the first two. So, uh, good for him. Um, Gwen and her boyfriend, which... You know, they had some sweet moments as well, and when Gwen kind of got to hold the device and see some of the past moments between the two, uh, really kind of melted my heart. And, you know, Gwen has a lot going on. And, you know, boyfriend is kind of being put to the to the bottom, because we're dealing with some shit, you know. It's hard to, to maintain a, a healthy relationship, and uh, hopefully they can somehow pull through. <laughs> Uh, but Jack, Jack is getting closer and closer. Like the scene where, uh, Gwen was shooting the gun and Jack was just all over, breathing down her neck, uh, saying, concentrate on shooting. Like, motherfucker, how can I concentrate? You're sending a freaking shiver down my spine. The hell do you mean, Jack? But, yeah, this was a good episode, guys. Uh, some uncomfortable shit. Uh, still as dark as ever. Hope you guys enjoyed my action to this one. Thank you all for watching. I'm out.